That's a pretty good crack, about ten and a half lead inches. happening people so today is February the 19th the ice has melted off the trees and we have came to the lake I waited later today it's uh, it's actually 136 right now we just pulled in this cove the water temperature is 40 degrees it's dropped about seven degrees in the last two weeks we've had a lot of water in the last few days and that's really dropped the water temperature down. We haven't been on the lake in about two weeks. The weather's been really, really bad. And uh, hey, before I forget it, shout out to those people out in Texas. Hey, our prayers go out with you and our thoughts are with you. And I hope they get you some power and water back out there. Uh, a lot of folks in Texas are in desperate need right now. So if you can help them, reach out and help them. So I came into the cove and kind of let me, let me show you where we at and uh so you can see a fish coming up here and so we came back into a cove right along here you can see my track line we came into a cove and i just been looking for fish as i come into the cove and uh, you can see there's some fish here we're floating actually you can see we're just moving back over these fish this is a this is a deeper side of the cove i chose the deeper side of the cove because that's where the fish are going to transition now that's where they're going to sit in this deeper water. Water's about 19, 18 feet deep. Just caught a really nice crappie. And you're not going to believe how shallow he was. He won't even four feet deep. I'll repeat that again. I just caught that nice crappie and he was four feet deep. I was moving along with the live scope, just looking at some fish in about the 10 to 15 foot range. Saw a couple of nice fish way up. I just reeled the uh, lure right up there real shallow. Boom. He bit. So, hey guys, come along with us. Hey, and let's go catch a fish. So up and down this bank line behind me, let me tell you what I found. So I switched over to a rubber jig and I noticed the crappie was running from me. So I actually went up and allowed the wind to push me back across where these crappie are staging. They just scattered in here. And I've noticed the crappie that are above six feet are actually more aggressive and will bite. And I'll use my shorter rod as I would approach them and just pitch that jig out past them and just float that jig right over top of them. But the water temperature is 40 degrees and they're fairly lethargic. So the better method for me is to use my 10 foot rod and to ease up real close to them. I got the trolling motor on down about two or three, really, really slow. Ease up really close. And with the 10 feet rod, I can reach out and basically the fish is sitting here and I can drop that lure right down right over top of it and I just stop it right there. So for the first few seconds, I do not move it. I mean, I'm dead sticking and not moving the lure at all. If I don't get any reaction, I give the rod tip a little twitch, makes it move. A lot of times the crappie, if I see him move towards the lure, he will either strike at it or either he will eat it. Now I've had a bunch of them just bump the lure and swim right off you know they're hitting at the lure but anyway that's basically what i'm doing now so hey let's go catch another fish all right Let's see if we can entice one right, 
got that one. What a good practice. Two fish there. And that fish bit very, very easy. And uh, he's just a little booger. Boom. And so real quick, uh, fishing my ACC crappy stick. I got my 10 foot rod and I'm fishing a double rig. Now this rig I had tied on a couple of weeks ago. So I got that pink white hair jig on the top and I got that gray jig I got from Brad's bait and tackle on the bottom. And uh, with the water clarity, I actually should switch over to maybe a chartreuse, a uh, big bright pink head. And I may do that in a little bit, but I caught that crappie on that gray one right there. And uh, even though the water looks fairly muddy, I can probably see that lure about six or eight inches. So I'm gonna stick with this combination. I'm fishing the dual rig jig today, just to give me a little extra weight in case I need to get it on down deeper, say in the 15 to 18 foot range. And uh, we may switch up some with some colors today, play around on, depending on where we find the fish at. So hey, let's go catch a fish. There he is. Got it. Like that right there. Good crappy too. Good crappy. Good crappy. You hit at it. Notice he he hit at the crappy. He he hit at it, but he didn't take it. So we're not keeping fish today, but that's a nice crappy. That's a ten and a half inch crappy. So, I'm getting ready to go down the lake. Uh, like I said a little bit ago, it was 39 degrees in here. I know on the lower end of the lake, closer to the power plant, the water is warmer. Don't know how much uh, warmer. So we're gonna ease down the lake. And just to let you know, these coves are full of crappy. Uh, all we need is a good warm spell and these crappy are gonna go on and push out of this deeper water up into some shallow water. Uh, getting ready to spawn so there's uh, since the water is muddy and it's overcast today this crappy is scattered everywhere the shad are scattered uh, anywhere from 8 to 16 feet of water so I've actually drifted through the crappy uh, trying to let the lure down to them haven't really caught any that way most of the crappy I've caught I've used a live scope found a crappy that's in the upper water column and dropped a little right in on him and most of the time they have reacted fairly well so i've caught five or six crappy in this one cove here and uh they hitting at the lure I've had a lot to just hit at the lure but miss it and not actually take it so we're going to ease down the lake and see if we can find uh find some find some more fish stay with us now i've came down the lake uh, Heiko Lake has some very narrow, long riprap walls, and so you, you have sections that the lake will hold hot, hold hot water from pushing into the other parts of the lake. So right now, this water is 56 degrees. Amazing to me that as much rain as we've had, it's still this warm here. So you can see this, uh, one of these little creek arms behind me, and uh, I'm right in the mouth of it off the main part of the lake. I've marked bunch of shad, a bunch of crappie at about five to seven feet deep. And I hadn't started fishing yet, but I'm gonna fish my way up this cove here and just check to see this warmer water in this section of the lake should have crappie wanting to transition much quicker. And uh, so, hey, we're gonna give it a shot. So stay with us. There you That's a pretty good crack. About ten and a half lead inches. Now, I work my way all the way back here. This cove is 
full of shad. Uh, water's 56 degrees. I've actually seen some bass chasing shad in here. Uh, I just caught that fish off a stump right down on the bottom at about 12 feet of water. So the water has been running uh, 20 to 19 feet back in this cove and then all of a sudden it just came right up on a little flat to about 12 feet. Now it's going to get shallower from here out. And a lot of times these crappy when they transition in here late in the winter time like this before the fall they'll sit right on this transition here before they push up. So right here I've got it's an old dead pine here, a good place for fish to spawn. Two secondary coves here, a couple of little ditches coming in. Good places for fish to spawn and they'll just sit out here. They've got everything they need. They've got cover, stumps to sit on out here. They've got a transition, something spooks them, they move back to deep water. And they're fairly close to move up as the water temperature rises and they can move up and spawn. So, uh, But they are right down on the bottom. So let's go back and catch another fish. Pretty good crappy, y'all. Now look, I'm gonna show y'all. I found a see that brush pile right there, right out in front of us. You see, it's in six or eight feet of water, and they are crappy on that brush pile. See, that goes my lure. I'm down there pretty close. See if we can catch another one off of it. Let me bump. We'll bump over. It looks like they're on that front side a little bit. See down in there pretty close. I think I've actually went over it a little bit. Sing. It's all about the GoPro, y'all. The, uh, the GoPro is out of battery life. I didn't bring the charger. Another decent crappy right there. Now we're gonna... Okay, guys, so we're going to end this video. Uh, it's getting on pretty late. It's about 434. And uh, I came to this warmer water, came in the back side of the uh, cove. And if you fish this warmer water in Heiko Lake, uh, water temperature is 56 degrees, 55, 56 degrees. And if you can find some structure in the back of the cove, I caught crappy and uh, I found some brush in eight or 10 feet of water and about six feet of water out in the middle of the cove and it was just loaded with crappy. Uh, some small crappy, I had to pick through them, but I caught some really nice crappy in that 10 to 11 and a half inch range. Nothing really over 12 inches that I caught, but I did catch a lot of crappy. So I caught some in the cooler water earlier today. Now the cooler water, it was 40 degrees, 41 degrees, and the crappy that were higher in the water column actually bit. The ones lower did not. So I elected, as you see in the video, I came down the lake and fished some of this warmer water. And this warmer water, the fish were much more aggressive. Thump, you get that good thump on it. And I actually caught some. I marked a couple of brush piles the GoPro give out on me. And I actually pitched a jig, curly tail jig, out over top of the brush and swam it by the brush. And they actually was active and actually biting that way. Hey, guys, I hope you've seen something in the video that you enjoyed. I hope you've seen something in the video that you learned. Appreciate all the support that we get for this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, it's a wild life, and I'll see you on the water.